Hi, I'm Dr. Marianne Sintron, founder of Step-by-Step Step Dyslexia Solutions. I don't think I've ever shared this story. And I wanna share it this morning because it talks about faith in action. A couple of years ago, I had a dream of tables filled with donuts. And I don't know why I dreamed that. I like donuts, but who doesn't, right? So that morning I turned on my TV and a man named Danny Trejo came onto the stage of this program and he had a box of donuts in his hand. And he gave it to this group that he was interviewing with and he had been released from prison. He had a G come to Jesus moment in prison and he had a very successful restaurant. And I don't know if you know who he is, but he is one of the actors who was always the tough bully guy. So anyway, he was in prison and he had a turnaround moment. So in that same morning, I turned on Spectra TV and they were talking about a music glove, a glove that was connected magnetically somehow to bring music as physical therapy to people. And as you know, I work with music to help the brain get retrained as I teach phonics. So thirdly, I saw an advertisement for an art show that was gonna be in Los Angeles and it was gonna be that day. And I thought I saw, heard the tickets were $25. So I um, went online to try to get the tickets and it said, they were all sold out, but I had to um, purchase it at the door. So I was planned, I you know, was ready to go to Los Angeles to this the huge art center. And I got in line to get my ticket. After being in line for probably 20 minutes, I was in the wrong line. <laughs> so I got in the right line. But when I was in the wrong line, I had met some ladies who had fundraised over a thousand dollars to save animals from being put down. And I was thinking, wow, people are raising a lot of money to save animals and I'm trying to fundraise money to train teachers and parents to work with dyslexic children. But anyway, I went to this other line and I got, finally got to the front and the ticket wasn't $25, it was $250. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I drove all the way out here. I don't have $250 to pay for a ticket. And I just, I was so disappointed. But as I walked away, faith welled up in me. And my faith prayed out to the Lord. And I said, God, I know you wanted me here today. I need a ticket to get in. $250, you own the cattle on a thousand hills, Lord. So I proceeded to just go up the stairs. I wasn't gonna go out. And how many of you feel like you, have you ever been at a movie theater and you went from one theater to the next without paying for that second movie? Well, of course that was in my younger years. So anyway, I kind of had that feeling, but I went up the stairs and can you guess what I found on the floor at the top of the stairs? That's right. It was a ticket for $250. It was in the form of a name tag saying paid, and it was in a lanyard and it had broken off of someone's lanyard and it was laying on the floor. I looked around to see if anybody was looking for their ticket. I picked it up and I still looked around. Nobody was looking for their ticket. And I just said, you know, this is from you, God. I am gonna enjoy this art show. So I put the ticket in my purse because it was broken. I couldn't wear it. But if I were to be asked about it, I would take it out and say, here it is. And it didn't have a name on it or anything. So I proceeded to go through the art fair, through those so many rooms. One of my very favorite rooms to see was um, fabric that was on the wall that was of the scales that you can rub it up and it's one color, rub it down and it's another color and you could write your name in it. You guys know what I'm talking about? I love that kind of fabric and I love purses, I love backpacks, pillows, anything that has that fabric, I just love it. It's so tactile and, and kids with dyslexia need to touch. They need a, kinest, they need a ten, kinesthetic activity and it helps stimulate their learning. 
And then the other rooms were filled with real creative art projects. And I just love that. So anyway, I, I stayed for about two hours and then I left. And within that week, I was hosting a table in the, um, at a Pomona PTA um, table. And I was invited, someone recommended, you need to meet Margaret at the Dawes Center for the Arts. Oh, I do, really? A second person, one of the board members came over to me. You need to meet Margaret at the Dawes Center. I do. So the Dawes Center stands for not Leonardo da Vinci, which you would almost think, but it was for the dance, <laughs> but the ANCE or the NCE got taken off. You, you know, the lights didn't light up. So anyway, the Dawes Center is a beautiful center for the arts in Pomona. And I met Margaret and she's an amazing dyslexic woman. She is the director and she's had a profound impact in my life. Over the past couple of years, she was our fiscal sponsor as we wrote grants in Pomona. And she's an amazing, very articulate woman. And she promotes the community so much. She just really loves Pomona. She loves the children. And she does everything she can to bring arts into people's lives. So this year, I've had my eyes opened to learn that dyslexia is a trait of genius. I learned that 40% of self-made millionaires are dyslexic and that 35% of entrepreneurs in the United States are dyslexic. So because I network a lot, I'm actually talking to many, many entrepreneurs. One in five people are dyslexic and you might be one of those entrepreneurs who's dyslexic. You might be one of those entrepreneurs whose child is dyslexic, and I'm here to help you. So dyslexia is a trait of genius. I have a new book out, and it says the same. And I have a t-shirt that says the same. I'd love to have an event where everybody's wearing this t-shirt, dyslexia is a trait of genius. So we want to build the children's self-esteem so that they can realize their full potential. So I developed a reading program and a music app. That's where this all comes together. God gave me a, a, a vision. God woke my husband up to create a music app. At 4.30 in the morning, he had that really strong impression. You know, when you wake up and you just can't go back to sleep and something's on your mind? Well, that's what he had. And he shared that with me. And within that week, we connected with a sound engineer who put together some spelling exercises that I recorded and um, classical music that I told him I wanted to put together in this app and it's called CDSM. It's Syntron Dyslexia Solutions with Music. You can download it free. There are, um, the first five exercises are free. And then it asks you to subscribe, but it's only $9.99 a month. So I urge you to sign on, get on board and let your children start practicing their, their spelling and their writing with this app. It plays music in the left ear and spelling exercises in the right ear. So I took a big leap of faith by, uh, <clears throat> by going to that art show in the morning and even a leap of faith going up, that, up those stairs. And that's when I found that ticket for $250. So I wanted to end by sharing a statistic that you may know, you may not. But dyslexic people thrive in four areas. And I really learned that this week, this year. They thrive in entrepreneurship, engineering, architecture, and the arts. So the arts is huge. And this is a huge door that God has opened up to my understanding. And if you have kids who are dyslexic and you have them in art programs, in dance, in music, even sports, acting, modeling, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear your story. And I do have this podcast. I'd love to interview you and share your story. But I hope this has encouraged you to take a leap of faith and, um, you know, seek God and see where he's going to guide you today. Bye-bye now. Thanks for listening.